So here's my basic palette, titanium white. I'm reaching into the caffeine and lemon here and the ultramarine blue. The finch and red in between those two and the red umber, which I will not use in this demonstration. So again, just trying to get a good green here just between the two colors of the cad lemon and the ultramarine blue. I'm keep mixing until I get the green that I'm actually happy with. Pretty good. Take a little bit of that green. And again, just adding a little bit of the blue. You can see it'll turn it to a little bit more of a blue green. And again, taking a little bit of up, adding a little more blue to it. Now, as I'm adding more of the ultramarine blue, I'm also changing the value of it. So I have to pull the white to lighten it. Because if I pull it from cadmium, cadmium yellow or lemon, it will get, it will change the temperature by warming it up. Going back to the middle one, wasn't quite happy, it was a little too blue, so I wanted to make sure it was a little there's a nice spot in between the green and the blue green. And you just keep mixing you know, with two colors until you get it right. Lighting it again. And I start to get a good, good blue green there. There we go. It's a good mix in between the two. So I'll take a little bit of blue green. You can take it further, adding a little more blue to it. Again, by adding the blue, it makes it a little bit darker in value. So I'll start with the basic green that I had. Add a little yellow to it. This is moving it towards the yellow green. A little too yellow at first, so I'm adding it, put a little more blue back into it. And all art is a is this comparison, so I'm just comparing the color that I'm mixing to the original green that I made. Just trying to get more of a yellow green, but not so far quite yet to the yellow, which you'll see as I start to do here. I'm really shifting that color to that yellow. Still, because I've got the blue in it, it's still a green. That's a straight yellow. You can see just how green it is. You can take it further. Again, just by mixing a little bit of that, that blue into it. It doesn't take much. I want to neutralize that green, so I take the opposite color, which is the red. Notice here that by neutralizing it, I'm actually using all three of the primary colors. Too much red in there, so I'll just maybe to get back to a greenish color here. I got a little too blue, and a little red. Take a little bit of that yellow. Have the blue mixed in with it, that's all right. And you can see that I'm starting to make a good. Good uh, neutralized color here. Getting a little dark. Still can warm that up. It's not a perfect color yet, but at least it gives me a good mix of color. So I start with that. Add a little bit on the inside. Take a little bit of the green, the blue green up on top. And you see how much variation here I can get. Again, take a little bit of that. A little more of it. Blue or green. And I'll take a far, far blue green. And just a, just a touch of that. 
of the neutralized color to it. And you can really start to compare and see these colors on the bottom here that are very neutral compared to the far more intense colors at the top. I'm really only using the two, two of the primaries, yellow and the green. I'm sorry, the yellow and the blue. So I used a lot of that mix. So I'm just mixing that, that color again. I can kind of mix it from everything knowing I'm using all three of those colors. So I you know, could start it kind of, I can, I can really like pretty much start it anywhere I want. And here I'm starting it. Again, just mixing the three colors until I get it right. I leave enough space there so I can kind of see where I was before. So I have a bit of a comparison. A little too much white. Let's try some yellow. So probably a little too green, so we'll have to neutralize it with the red. And that starts to feel much better. And we're going to do a thorough mix in here, scraping, thorough mixing. I mean, so I can really see what that color is. Dark, it's hard to see. There you go, get the value much closer. Still needs to be warmed up with this one, some red a little bit. Get more accurate. There we go. And I can take that, mix all that together. So I can take a little bit more of that. We'll see how I move it now to the yellow green side. Still have more neutral. I'm just taking the yellow green up on top that I had. This is just for expediency. Gets me there much faster. Good to clean the palette knife. Now, I can get in between those by just adding a bit of peach pick. Because we're still using the same basic three colors, I can really take any of these mixtures and use them to mix a new green or a more neutralized green. I can warm it up with some red. A little too hot, so let's cool some blue. A little too much blue. A little white in there. Remember, white is also a cool color. Just comparing and mixing until I get what I'm looking for. Put that yellow green in there. Neutralize it a little bit so it's halfway in between. There we go. A little more green. I should take a little bit of that dark. Darken it up. Neutralize it. A little bit more blue. Again, just playing with it. I can sit and play with it and get it. So this is the beauty of a, of a limited palette. And you can really very easily mix it. Here you'll see me putting down some straight cadmium lemon so you get an idea of just how green those yellow greens are. They are subtle, but they're there. I'm going to try to warm up that yellow so you can see what a warmer yellow will look like compared to the coolness of a lemon yellow. And if I get this a little more orange, that's all right. You get the idea. Starting to run out of the uh, 
Chad Lennon up on top. I should, probably, should have probably put out some new paint, but that's all right. Now we have this uh, simple, uh, simple, cool blue here. So you can see just how blue green those are too. And I realized when I did this was I could really take that blue green and go further than what I did. So that's what I'm going to do here. A little bit of that straight blue and white, and just a touch of the yellow to it. You can see how it's starting to shift from that the straight blue and white to a little more of a blue green. You can also see how that saturates it. And there you go. That's a, that is it. That is a, a pretty good gamut of the. Uh, of the um, of the greens. So thanks.